My question to you guys today, it's November 2nd, okay? The hurricane season technically ends on November 30th, but for all intents and purposes, is the Atlantic hurricane season kind of already over? Can we, like, slam the door on the mm. 2025 Atlantic hurricane season? We've got Michael, Bain, Haley, myself. We're all going to talk about this. And, of course, Michael... I'm going to start with you because you are the pot stirrer. You like to, <laughs> you like to just get in there like a witch over her cauldron. So let's get it over to you. I want to see what you have to say. You know what? About Simple. It. It's not over until it's over. And listen, they always say it's not over until the fat lady sings. <laughs> and I'm not hearing anyone singing. That is for sure. And the reason why Mariah is because Carey you, is. you better not say hey, you see any fat She's not fat. She looks true. great. Yeah. But Mariah Carey singing because it's Christmas. This is very true. This is very true. So the thing is, there is tons of heat still left in the Caribbean. We're talking water temperatures. You can see them right here in the mid 80s. You look at Jamaica area. And what's interesting is since we've had the passage, of course, of Melissa, we've actually seen a little bit of cooling in that zone. But the thing is, is that we still have to watch out for what's called the Central American gyre. You're sometimes hearing this called uh, the CAG, if you will. And this is going to be a zone where that water in the Western Caribbean, so I'm thinking Cancun, Cozumel, that pocket still really warm. And so our forecast is actually calling for a development possible area, not just throughout the first week of November, but also, Bain, you look at the second week of November, and that orange area highlighted in the Western Caribbean still shows development possible. So again, at this point, I am not, you know, I, I am not okay. calling it hurricane season. Okay, fair. Okay. But, but listen, Michael, I, I love you. You're one of the best meteorologists I've ever worked with. But, hey. but I said one of, <laughs> okay. <laughs> one of all four of us. <laughs> But listen, there's a guy named Brian Norcross Bain who uh, who knows that he's probably was, forgotten more than all of us have ever known about the tropics, I, and he I, sounded off recently about this. Didn't yeah, he? I was just gonna say I gotta bring up our hurricane specialist Brian Norcross, and he said, and I quote, "There is a good chance that hurricane season 2025 is." Over. Okay, oh. we got hostile winds yeah. that are working into this. The temperatures are falling. If Brian Norcross says it, then I'm going to believe That's Bible. it. Bible. And I also want to mention this too. He said there's a we chance, got... though. Hey. Oh. Hey, my word. You, you had your chance. Yeah, your chance. You we got to turn chance. off his microphone, you guys. You had your chance. Okay, but back to this. I want to talk a little bit about another meteorologist that tweeted this online, Tomer. He's a Northeastern meteorologist, and he brought up a good point, too, and I have my notes here to prove it. Mm -hmm. Quietest Gulf season since 2015, and it's also been the first season without U.S. Gulf Coast tropical cyclone impacts since 2014. Now, the reason I bring this up, you guys, is because... If the Gulf was going to be utilized, if there was something going to be popping up, I feel like it would have already happened. I feel like the Gulf has been shut down all season long, and now we have the wind shields going to be impacting it. We have those fall fronts that are starting to move on through. So the conditions, they're not as favorable as what they once were. So I think usually when we're in this point of the season, we're looking at homegrown systems, and I'm not buying anything quite yet. Mm. And also, I mean, again, Brian Norcross says it. I'm going to believe Okay, it. so, That's but listen, guess. that graphic right there says there's a 6% chance. chance. So, say with me, guys. So, you're saying there's, there's a chance. chance right? Saying there's a chance. Brian Norcross said there is a good chance, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean there's a 0% chance. chance. Amen. Okay, and okay. you know what, Michael? This is probably the one time we can be in agreement yeah. sitting on this desk doing this segment. Usually there's a lot of, like, contention <laughs> going on here. But, Michael, I agree with you in this oh, case. See? I don't necessarily wow. think that hurricane season's over. Hmm. Do I want it to be over? Please let it be over. I'm begging you. But I, I really hesitate to say that. I mean, you look, going all the way back to the 1950s, we've had 51 named storms in November, 27 hurricanes, and six major hurricanes. So especially considering the water temperatures you talked about, mm -hmm. Michael, there's enough there to support something that would pop up. Now, my next key point for you is Kate. Now, Kate was back in 1985, and it was in late November. A lot of those November hurricanes were in the early half of the month, but Kate is an example of how something can form later. The overall setup for Kate was a very strong ridge of high pressure, guided this thing uh, through the northern tier of the Caribbean, south of the Bahamas, and then eventually we had a cold front in the U.S. that blocked it off for the western Gulf, but it steered that system towards Florida. At this point... I can't completely rule something like that out. Another thing I just want to throw in here, uh, something that we didn't talk about in our meeting, we didn't necessarily specify which basin 
because the eastern Pacific, the models are picking up on a potential hurricane. So Hold hurricane up. season isn't over for them yet until no late mid November ish. Mm. Okay, so, I said Atlantic Basin. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. I Roll did. the tape. I don't Roll know. the tape. Okay. <laughs> Let's see that Roll instant tape. replay. Um, <laughs> so no, but you're right. That's that's an excellent point right there. Nick, but, is it over? Bane, I, I like to see these two agree with each other. It's like watching yeah, mom and dad. Yeah, there you go. It's like we're, a postcard we're, we're moment. We're on the same team with you guys. It's like watching mom and dad make up after a fight. You we know should what put I mean? it on our Christmas card, our Weather Command Weekend Christmas right. card. Just you guys just <laughs> hugging each other. Guys. It's over. I mean, first of all, Norcross said it, so I don't care what anybody else says. Second of all, look at that. No tropical development expected in the next seven days. Today is November 2nd. Mm -hmm. Okay, if my math serves me correctly, and a lot of times it doesn't, 7 plus 2 is 9. This takes us to November 9th. That means after that, we only have 20 more days in November, and really by the midway point of November, you can kind of shut down the season anyway. On top of that, we've got this jet stream that pushes south, and this thing means business this time of the year. Anytime you have a cold front that, we, that reaches uh, Puerto Rico, that sort of shuts off the season for all intents and purposes. And then on top of that, you've got these hostile upper-level winds, this wind shear. So if anything does get going, it would get torn apart. If it even tries to get going, I should say, it would get torn apart. Water temps become very cool or, or too cool to sustain uh, any tropical development. The main development region is Dunzo, limited tropical waves moving into the Atlantic. I think we've already seen the last tropical wave come off the coast of Africa. So, yeah, I'm just thinking, even though the water temperatures are still warm enough in the Caribbean and the Mid Gulf. Mid-80s, Nick. Mid-80s. Absolutely, but I think that wind shear would, would tear anything that uh, tries to develop a part. I so. mean, I, I, I see what you're saying. I, I, I totally see what you're saying. The only thing is, Nick, is that, you know, you mentioned cold fronts, right? Yep. Well, sometimes it's those cold fronts that sag through the, you know, the Gulf and then into the Western Caribbean. That actually can serve as a focus mechanism for something to develop. I'm right? going to get you a cauldron and just a big... <laughs> <laughs> it's past Halloween. Ladle. You can't do that they're now. They're on sale. No, they're on sale. <laughs> That's it's true. Perfect you time know what? We can save money. Okay, how about this? Then let me ask you this. If, if you guys still think that the uh, hurricane season is possible, then then certainly you think that we're done with major hurricanes or, or major storms. Uh, I'm afraid to say anything at this point, just because so you never know. This year has been a curveball, to say yeah, the least, is. and the water temperatures in the, in the Caribbean could sustain it with exactly. mid-80s. Yeah, exactly. Do I think it's going to happen? Not necessarily, but I'm not confident in a complete total shutdown. I'm not confident in that yet. Bane, what's it like to be on the winning side of the screen with it me? It feels really it good. It does. It does Gosh. feel great. <laughs> mm. I'm just going to let it wash over me. <laughs> I mean, I, I hope y'all are right. I, I, I really, do really yeah. do. I do too. But for me, though, when I look at this and I see mid-80s, I mean, if it would be different if it was like 79 or like maybe like if these all said 80 to me. Right. That, that would be different. But mid-80s, guys? You don't think the wind know, shear will make up for that? I don't know if it's strong enough just yet to really decapitate all storms that form from this point forward. It could right. block off the Gulf, but it doesn't mean it's blocking off all of the Caribbean. You know what I mean? Like, we could Fair. get that wind shear, but yeah. all it takes is that one pocket. So we'll see what happens with the rest of hurricane season. Yeah. We still, as you mentioned, Nick, got, what, about 20, 30 days left to go? Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right.